just add this. As with any pursuit, we don't know how this is going to end. So viewer discretion advised. Again, a live pursuit going on in Southwest Oklahoma City right now. I want to bring in Jim Gardner and Bob Mills, Sky News 9, to give us a play-by-play. -play. Jim, start with an exact location for us. Right now, we were southbound on Hefter Parkway, uh, coming up to 150th. You can see Air One there. Now, I've been told that this is a stolen vehicle. You're looking at a white pickup truck right there. It's missing some windows. I think it's missing the side window, possibly the back window here. But this is a stolen vehicle. He just went through. I don't know if that was a red light or not, but he is still going southbound here. He kind of took the off ramp, but it looks like he may be going. He's going to go eastbound on Memorial now. So now he is turning eastbound on Memorial here coming over the bridge and uh, so like I said the police have kind of laid back air one is on this so they've kind of laid back from really pursuing this vehicle they've just let air one uh, follow him here of course we're over it now and we have followed him for it's went up to a uh, uh, northbound on Hefter Parkway it's went on Portland and got up to about 164th when they attempted to stop him at 164th at the stoplight and then he turned around came back southbound right now the speeds have not been too extreme in this pursuit and one reason why i believe is because they have kind of backed off and just let air one handle this but this is a stolen vehicle that's the information we have right now we'll keep you updated as this goes along here amanda if we hear any more information looks like some other officers may have got involved with this like i said it was oklahoma city we have he we have heard ohp talking i haven't seen an ohp car but uh, right now it has been oklahoma city in this pursuit of this stolen vehicle going eastbound now on uh, the, I believe it's going to be the Kilpatrick Turnpike here as he goes eastbound and we're getting ready to come up to May Avenue, North May, Amanda. So again, if you have any more information, that's good. Let me know. We'll keep you updated. Jim Garpoint Live from Bob Mills, News 9. Back to you. Okay, Jim. And so now we can clarify this. I know you see on the screen it says Southwest OKC. We're not talking about Southwest. If he's on the Kilpatrick Turnpike, and it looks like he's picking up speed right now. Uh, Jim Gardner, correct? He's on the Kilpatrick Turnpike. That is correct. Now he's taking an off ramp here. It looks like he may be taking an off ramp at Penn and getting off at Penn here. And you can see Air One. Air One has just been shadowing him. Like I said, the units have laid back and let Air One just shadow this vehicle here. And like I said, we are coming up to Penn now. We'll see what he does here. It looks like maybe he is going to go. Oh, uh, he's taking the Texas turnaround there on Penn, which is going to put him back going back. East, uh, excuse me, westbound on the Kilpatrick. If he gets back on the Kilpatrick, did not, he'll be westbound on Memorial here from Penn. And like I said, uh, okay, it looks like he's gonna stay on Memorial now and just take Memorial and go back westbound here. And uh, so again, let's see, he's gonna turn in. What's that sign say, Rich? I can't tell him. I'm, so he's turning into where Hobby Lobby is here on the, where you see Swadley's Barbecue. He's turned in where the mall is, kind of where the mall is. He's coming behind Swadley's Barbecue there. And uh, we'll see what he's going to do here. Like I said, Air One is over the top of him. So are we. So there's really nothing he can do. Uh, right now, he's just driving around. Like I said, police have been very uh, easy in, on this vehicle, not pushing him, not trying to get close to him, except up at 164th, they attempted to stop him. And then he turned and got back southbound on the Hefter Parkway. But now he's back on Memorial going westbound. And uh, the next road we'll be coming up to is going to be May Avenue again. We'll see what he does here at May Avenue. This but, is uh, a that's very where we busy stand right area. now. This is a stolen vehicle. Uh, really, there's been uh, nobody put in danger here because, like I said, the speeds have not gotten really that high due to the police staying back off. I'm just letting air one. Now he's coming northbound on May for Memorial right now. Yeah, this is a really busy area, so it'd be good if he could get out of that area because there is a lot of pedestrian traffic right that may there. May, that may be that short street that goes... You can see Quail Springs Mall is going to be right uh, on the bottom side of that screen. That's the parking lot for Quail Springs Mall. I think you have a, a BJ's over there, and so he's past that. He's going by on this side road that's going to go around Quail Springs Mall. A lot of restaurants around there. Uh, he's, he's not speeding right now, and uh, police are watching him from Air One, and we have seen uh, several police cars hanging behind him as well. So we want to keep an eye on this, especially because he is in a highly populated area of town. Uh, luckily, not a real busy time for the mall area, but, but busy enough for sure.
coming up at a four-way stop there. There's Lifetime Fitness there. He's going to blow through that stop sign. He's trying to get out of there right now. This will put him back out on May Avenue. Oh, he's pulling into an apartment complex right there. Jim, I want to bring you back in. Talk to me. Yeah, that's right. He's. It looks like this truck is maybe trying to follow him, maybe trying to cut him off, but he looked like, up. Oh, yeah, they're going to... Oh, okay. They, there he's... Uh, they tried to spin him right there, but it really didn't work. Uh, now he is going, he's going back, uh, I believe he's going back westbound on that street that will take him to May Avenue. Uh, they tried to, they tried to uh, spin him there, but it didn't really didn't work. And now he's got back out on the road. I uh, can't remember what that little road is called. That may be Northwest 140th. That then it's gonna go westbound and come back out to May. We'll see if he goes north or south on May there. So it looks like he's going to go northbound on May from Northwest 140th Street there. And uh, we'll see what he does here. Like if you said, know he's anybody in this lose area, him going give around him a heads uh, up. In those parking lot around the mall, around Swadley's. You see Air One right there over the top of him. So he's uh, police are coming up on him now. Now he's northbound on May, so now the police are kind of coming up on him. And uh, they're probably wanting to end this uh, pretty soon because the last thing you want is for him to get in a populated area like the Quell Springs Mall in that area and, and start doing something crazy here. So you see all the police stars starting to come in now. And like I said, he's northbound on May. And we'll see what street uh, he should be coming up to Northwest 150th, I believe. You're absolutely right, yeah, Jim. He'll be Northwest, up to 150th. Northwest 150th. And is, he's kind of slowing down. They're, they're kind of, they're not pushing him real hard uh, because like I said, Air One's up in the air, but so he'll come up to 150th here. We'll see what he does. He's coming around traffic. Okay, he's gonna come eastbound on Northwest 150th. So now he's eastbound on Northwest 150th and we'll see what he does here. There's not too much traffic in front of him at all. And like I said, the good thing is the speeds haven't really gotten out of control or gotten uh, very fast here. At one point, in the pursuit at the very beginning, it got up to close to 80 miles an hour, but it hasn't been any, anything near that uh, now. But like you said, he's on uh, Northwest 150th going eastbound here, and we'll see what uh, see what takes place. Like I said, traffic is very light uh, through here right now, so we'll let's see what street do we just go through right there. That would probably be Penn, uh, and if he's still going eastbound yeah, on 150th, uh, he's going see, to be hitting. A, let me see him. Let's see. I've kind of lost visual on him from up here. I'm just kind of watching the camera. And uh, so he should be coming up to pin, yeah. So he should be coming up to pin here. And yeah, it's North Penn Avenue. So he's still eastbound on Northwest 150th coming up to pin. We'll see what he does here. That's absolutely right. If There's the retirement home He turns to go south north. or north or he keeps going eastbound. Like so said, this guy has not have, uh, wanted to stop have backed off from him quite a ways. Like I said, everyone is uh, just shouting here, so he's gonna take, he's, he's kind of weaving in, in traffic there. Okay, now he's gonna go southbound on May Avenue. So southbound on May Avenue. I think that's Northwest Penn. 150th. That could be Penn Avenue, if I'm not mistaken. Jim, is that I'm Penn? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, let's see here. So he's yeah, southbound that would be on Penn. Penn. I'm sorry. So we're southbound on Penn again. And Jim, this guy has not really wanted to give up either. We saw police tap his ba the back of his vehicle once. We also saw them, right before we went on the air, try to get him to stop, and he kept moving. That's right. They tried to stop him a couple of times, and he, able, he was able to get around him and uh, keep going. So now we are going, uh, we're still going southbound on Penn here. So, well, he's going to try to, he's going to turn into the Home Depot parking lot, which is off Penn and 140th. 140th is going to be south of Home Depot there. So he's turned into the Home Depot parking lot. So let's see if they can get him stopped right here because he's just circling around. He's going to come right back out. He's going to kind of see what they're kind of blocking him in, kind of blocking him in, kind of blocking him in. Uh, he definitely don't want to stop, that's for sure. No, and this is where it's a concern. During these, go, as he goes through these parking lots, it's a concern that there might be a pedestrian out there. 
Well, that's right. You always got to be careful of that because we are in Home Depot, like I said. So he's trying to make it back out. I believe that's going to be 140th Street. So he's going to go westbound on 140th. Let's see what he does here. Now well, they're trying to stop him, but he he does not. That's the OHP right there. So OHP is going to spin him into the curb. Let's see what happens here. And He's just up a on word the grass. of warning, this is live TV right here on News 9. Yeah, they've come out with guns drawn. They've come out. Looks like he may be still trying to hit his gas, trying to get out. Now, this is going to be the, the south side of the Home Depot, basically nursery area right there is where this has come to an end uh, with a, with the OHP officer TBI and him. Oh, well, he's going to back up. He got loose again. And now he's okay. going to be going toward the okay. mall he area got loose again. again. Let's see, they're going to try him again. Nope, he got out of that one, so. He's going to spin him again. This is where it's going to get dangerous nope, if he starts work. getting into So now he's going up, this he's area. going southbound on a little side street here. See so he there's O'Connor's right on the left-hand side of your screen, just past that. He's going to circle around to the Hobby Lobby area again. And they're trying to get this guy to stop. He is not giving up, though, Jim. No, he is not. This is going to be the back side of Hobby Lobby here. Uh, it's going to be on the back side of Hobby Lobby. They're going to spin him again. He's into the curb. So let's come around here, come out with guns drawn again. Let's see what he's behind a tree there. Let me get around here, make sure there's no traffic around me. So they got the guns drawn again. He's up on the curb in the grassy area. The police are kind of surrounding him now and uh, blocking him in. So let's see what happens here. Like I said, we're, we're very lucky going around all the businesses that we went through, Quail Springs Mall, Home Depot, Swadley's, all there, because like you said, that, you know, if there's pedestrians walking around, that's the last thing you need to have a high speed chase, which is really not high speed. They kept it at low speed, which is really good, but uh, you know, somebody could have got hurt pretty easy in this, but they got him on, he got on these side streets where there wasn't much traffic and they were able to spin him. And they, spin, they spun him several times, and that one time I thought they had him when he went up on the curb, but he was able to get away from it and uh, go again. And now they got him blocked in with guns drawn. Now they're trying to talk him out of the truck here. Isn't this like unbelievable, said, this is the stolen though? vehicle He's is what I've been out. told. Uh, the good thing is this has ended with no injuries at all, which is good. And now they're going to bring him out of the truck and take him into custody here. The person definitely did not want to come out of the truck, so... Uh, they had to pull him out themselves. Even with officers and their guns drawn, he was not getting out, so they wanted this uh, chase to end, and they wanted everybody to stay safe, so they went, and they made him get out. They pulled him out, they had their guns drawn, they had uh, their canine officer there, just in case, and it looks like the pursuit that went through a busy area of uh, northwest Oklahoma City has come to an end with a Suspect in custody right now. Oklahoma City police on the scene as well as OHP troopers there as well. That's right. They, they did a great job at laying back, taking their time, letting everyone uh, shadow the subject so they wouldn't lose him. And then when the time was right, uh, but then when he started going into the Home Depot in these crowded areas, they had to bring this to an end before somebody got hurt, which is what they did and uh, got the suspect in custody. Jim Garpour live from Bob Mills, Scudders 9, back to you. Jim, always great work up there and Bob Mills Sky News 9 giving us a play-by-play -play of what's going on as that stolen vehicle, apparent stolen vehicle, made its way through northwest Oklahoma City. A good ending here as the suspect is in custody and the chase is over. Again, we understand it's a stolen vehicle, but as soon as we learn more information about that, you know we're going to pass it along to you right here on News 9 and our News 9 app. For now, I'll send it back to you.